What's up guys, Alfredo here with some Halo 4 commentary one time. Of course, this is gameplay that makes me look way better than I really am at the game of Halo. If you don't already know, these are released on a weekly basis. So make sure you catch them whenever you can. As usual, let's go ahead and set up this match. Oh, not today. Now the map is Haven, the game type is Team Regicide. I'm using the DMR along with Camo and Mobility. Now, this is an older clip, probably dating back to the first day that I really played Team Regicide. But since then, I've come to realize a number of things. For instance, when I'm the king, I like to stay on the defensive because there's a giant bounty sign that the opponent can see on my head at all times, which just really causes them to feed me kills. It doesn't mean I stay on the defensive the entire time though, because as soon as that overshield kicks in, that's when you want to attack, like this guy that's swooping in like Batman. Now if I'm not the king, I like to fan out and really try to cut off the opposing players that are trying to come in and kill my king. And of course you don't want to overdo it like I did back there because you just get yourself killed. Now, this week's topic, guys, I want to talk about just animated, like, meanies of my childhood growing up. I'm talking about, like, Ren from Ren and Stimpy, and you got Brain from Pinky and the Brain. Oh, got him. Then Cat from Cat Dog, definitely. Sid Phillips from Toy Story. I mean, that kid just wanted to steal his sister's dolls and torment toys. What kind of life is that growing up? You had Jafar from Aladdin, who was manipulative. Scar from The Lion King, who killed Mufasa and just completely took over the pride and tanked that responsibility. I'm going to give Scar the award for worst uncle ever. Angelica Pickles deserves to be on this list. That cookie-loving brat. She terrorized Tommy and all the other Rugrats with physical and verbal abuse. Oh, got him. Now, Roger Klotz. There's a guy who is responsible for lowering uh, Doug's self-esteem. It's probably why Doug had so many problems winning over Patty Mayonnaise in the first place. Cruella DeVille, who wanted to kill 101 Dalmatians just to make a fur coat. Come on, girl. And Gaston. You gotta add Gaston to that list. And any kid who wouldn't let that silly rabbit have any tricks. My goodness. Now, I'm sure I'm missing out a whole bunch of people, so you guys do such a great job of reminding me and everyone else of who I left off this list. So my question is, you know, what is, you know, who am I leaving off this list? What animated jerk am I leaving, uh, am I not saying or talking about? Let me know in the comments below or tweet me at Alfredo IGN. Now remember, if you do want to play some Halo matches with me, to follow me on Twitter because that's where I tweet one and where I'm playing Halo. And this week, I want to give a shout out to Chunky Twinkle, who is actually a friend of mine for the past eight years. And there's kind of an interesting story to how we met. And it was through Tim Geddes, who also works here at IGN. He's my partner in crime when it comes to making IGN originals. If you haven't seen any of those, you should check them out. Now, it was in... I remember, it was back in history class. And on my desk was this, like, LAN... Turn, like Halo Land Tournament DVD and I, for some reason I left it out because back then I watched it at all times and I just thought it was a cool I was a cool kid if I just left it out because it showed that I liked Halo and Tim uh, well it kind of worked actually because Tim looked over at me and he goes hey I noticed you like Halo uh, my friend happens to be really good and at this point in time in my life I thought I was the best Halo player ever because I beat everyone that I ever came up against. Now, of course, everyone that I ever came Oh, got him. Everyone that I ever came up against was my brother and my uncle, so there wasn't much competition. And I said, okay, let me play this kid. Now, we're standing next to the lockers, Tim and I, and this short Asian kid walks over, and we're just standing there real awkwardly. And I had to do something, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna break the ice. And I go, hey, what kind of gun do you use? He goes, huh, sniper rifle with a little bit of like attitude. And I'm thinking to myself, this is Halo Combat Evolved. You can't be that good if you're using the sniper rifle. And your primary weapon, oh, don't judge me, is not the pistol. And of course, I respond to him, huh, I use the pistol. Now, a year later, his birthday comes up. 
and we decided to find out who was the best Halo player that we knew. And and oh man, I remember it was in Hang'em High, and we land two Xboxes together, of course, two separate TVs, and this match lasted four whole hours. Eventually. The other 13 kids that were at this birthday party just gave up on watching us. But of course, we didn't give up on determining who was the best. Match that lasted four hours at Hang Em High. It came down to 24 and 24. I finally got the kill. Thank goodness I won that match because he's the type of guy that would never let that down. Ever. And I'm sure a bunch of you guys, if you're not that person, have a bunch of people who are like that. But, anyways, that's this week's commentary, guys. And. I really appreciate every single one of you guys that, you know, support me. And as usual, give me some feedback. I'm still new to this. But that's this week's commentary. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. And I'll catch you guys next week.